Hello Battlefield and fellow Team Bag Platoon members, Moby here. Uh, this is going to be a quite short Marquez scavenger match, but um, I think the whole thing was about six minutes or so. But um, just wanted to post a little something different up. Um, obviously, for those who may or may not have, or who may not have the map pack scavengers, you start out with a pistol and you collect weapons as you run around the map. They're ranked kind of a one, two, three stripe. Obviously three, it's sort of subjective. Three is, sometimes I pick up a three and it could be a bolt action sniper rifle, which I dislike, especially on this type of map. It's not my cup of tea, I'd rather stick with my pistol. Um, but you go around, capture the flag. It's basically like a domination with pistols. And if you can find your own find your pistol, you know, find your primary, then you're, you're golden. But the point of this, when you see at the end, um, right now we're up 140, let's see, 148, 147, 135. Um, the point is taking bases. You want to burn off their tickets. It, it has almost nothing to do with kills. Kills is arbitrary to get you to get you to the flag. You know, if you get someone on the way to the flag, then great. Other than that, don't worry about it. If you want the win. Um, this is not about getting points for the kills, it's not about anything like that. It'll get you your pistol, you'll wind up getting pistol ribbons. Um, you know, clearly, because you just almost can't help it, but um, you know, everything has its own scope on it, you can't change it, you know, so that gun that I picked up, you know, has a, a 4x scope on it, there's no way to get it off. You know, if you don't like it, then tough cookies. Some have red dots, some of the bolt action snipers. I don't know if there are any are uh, iron sights, but, um, you know. So anyway, I'm running a Rex here. Um, generally, I, I will. It's That was a fairly medium distance shot, I feel, for, for a pistol. Um, I guess you can use the 44 scoped Magnum, but that's not a favorite of mine, because then if you get up close, I don't know whether to scope in or just tip fire the darn thing. Um, but obviously, like the battlefield friends, you know, you don't have any med packs, you don't have any paddles, you don't have any ammo. Um, you just get what you get. You know, your your uh, LMGs are going to have a hundred rounds, and then that's it. If you so when you you, know, you got to keep a super close eye on your bullets. Generally, you have two magazines. If it's a an assault rifle, engineer, carbine, something like that, whatever. Um, you get two magazines, and then that's it. You got to go find something else. There's no, I don't think, no, you can't pick up from a dead body. So, um, you know, notice right in front of me, there's a three-striped weapon. I think I grab it, and I think it's an SVD, or I think it's an SVD, uh, which is similar to an SKS. Oh, wait, that's a PKP. Okay. So it'll hover over and it'll tell you which, you know, what weapon it is. So there, I picked it up. I shot a few bullets. Picked that one up. Um, and you'll notice some some of these game, some of my gameplay. I record my voice, uh, but I have to overlay that onto the gameplay voices. Um, this one I don't think I did. And I think if you change your, I guess your Xbox settings. Um, I don't even have to record any of the chat, the team chat, especially if we're in, um, especially if we're in party chat on Xbox. Um, if it's normal team or squad chat, yeah, you'll pick it up, whether you like it or not, you pick it up. But um, here, you probably won't hear anything but just the normal gameplay. So anyway, they have already. I'm, I'm uploading right now a video. Hmm, which one was it? Oh, that was the Grand Bazaar Squad Deathmatch. So, um, I'm making this one as that one's uploading, because this is was only six minutes. So I'm going to put a little bit of a an extended length bonus clip on it, and um, you'll see what that is. It's a little different than normal, but I've been trying to get one for a while. And we had a, a buddy of ours. You'll see. Anyway. Uh, so... Yeah, it is an SVD. Happen to get a headshot, which kind of lucky. 
but um, you know you run the pistol like crazy over here and it's just about taking bases. I mean you'll notice the tickets is 19 to 8, 93 to 18. You know, now you have them five five flags. They you just they can't make up kills for that. You just can't even you can't outkill the burn. Um, even if it's three to two. The, and you have normal gameplay. If if eighty percent of their people if they win eighty percent of their gun battles, let's say, when they find your people, they can't make up for the for the ticket loss, even if it is three to two. So you have to take flags. Look at the score here in a second. I think um, third or something like that. Um, and I only have five to four. That's it. You know, slips five to two, and I'm fourteen hundred points. He's six hundred something points. You, you just got to take bases. Get your butt on a flag immediately. And usually in the game, we're talking. If you're burning a flag, to take it down is a little longer, but to get it back, it's super quick seconds and before you even start taking it you have to talk to everybody and let everybody know where you're going next and if you're taking echo go to alpha take an echo or go to delta you're taking charlie go to bravo know ahead of time and just go there swarm that flag and that will get you the win if you need the wins because obviously some people need the wins for the crossbow which again in battlefield friends it's it's a riot you see that video uh that's probably one of my favorite videos um, I think that's hilarious. So, if you haven't seen it, look up Battlefield Friends or BFF and type in Scavenger. So, Battlefield Friends Scavenger, and you will find the video I'm talking about. And after this, I might even watch it again myself, and I've probably seen every video probably at least three or four times, every single one. Um, it's a scream. So, Guy behind us, Hawk. Uh, that's a little plug for them. I don't make any money off that, just to let you know. Um, so here is the Amtrak, or we call the brick. Um, I don't know if that was a direct impact, but that was kind of nice. It doesn't happen too often. So we have Wackack here. We have Poopy Doopy in this gameplay, myself, and um, I think. Bruski and I, I'm pretty sure Steelhawk is in this match as well. You'll hear him. Um, if you have a good gunner, and I'm, I'm very average at the, doing this, but uh, if you have a good gunner, you're communicating, and you have a good driver, you can do some serious damage with this thing. The Amtrak, again, is a mobile spawn point for your team. The other team can't take it. Even if you leave it for them, they can't pick it up. Now, it's so right here. I'm going to hammer this vehicle because I don't want him to take it. I'm also going to hammer around the vehicle because I want to get the guy. But remember, you have two you have two weapons here. So the little reticle with the tight squares that you saw right there that I mowed that guy down with, that's your, I don't know if it's a 50 cal, but that's your machine gun. The one with the larger squares here, uh, with the square outside and the larger crosshairs that are very spread apart, that's your normal grenade launcher. Most of the time, if there's anybody nearby, I'm going to automatically switch to the machine gun while the grenade launcher is reloading. So I don't have to switch and I waste that half a second. Um, here, I don't see anybody on the mini map. See, there's a guy behind that that warehouse and he's dead because I got a kill assist, so I'm not switching over. But normally, if there's people around or you're even unsure if there's anybody there, you want to switch over to your machine gun so you're always ready. Um, if there's a vehicle in front of you, all right, maybe not. But if there's a vehicle and you think someone's going to bail out of it, or you see two or three people in a Vodnik, let's say this a Vodnik comes up against this, I'd get out of the Vodnik because it's just going to get destroyed. So I'm going to assume, and hopefully properly so, that, that enemy, enemies on their team will get out of it as well. So I will switch to the gun because I'll hit the Vodnik, at least one guy is going to jump out, and you want to switch to that gun and mow him down. So right here, I'm just playing off the splash damage. Um, it is cleaned out, you notice, on that double stack. I was switching to the to the machine gun. Um, now I'm not, because there's nobody around. But uh, you want to keep this thing moving. You want to keep it repaired. I don't think I get the spawn points unless somebody spawns on me. Um, if you spawn on the Amtrak, nobody gets the points, but if you spawn on Wackack, 
he'll get the points, I won't. So there's basically three different ways to spawn on this vehicle if two guys are in it, you know. Um, just using the spots. Unfortunately, there's no proximity on this thing, but that would probably make it super OP. Um, you can disable the tank. If, you can probably beat up a tank. It'd be close, but you can get a tank down with this thing. Uh, especially if anybody in your team gives you a little revive. So right here, switch into that gun, zoom in. So you've got zoom for both guns. You've got the machine gun and the grenade launcher. So you've got quite a number of assortments to spot, to find the guys, guns to shoot them with. So there's, you're going to be busy in this thing. If you're gunning properly, you better be busy. If you're not, you're doing it wrong. Uh, this guy just totally missed. But keep switching up the weapons, you know, all the time. So there's a tank here, we're down to 42%. I stay on that grenade launcher, I don't see anybody else in the mini map, and I just stay on it because I want to get those bullets, those those grenades out as fast as possible. Again, I, I came out because I spawned on Wack Egg. You don't have time, you don't pick your the weapon that you're going to have out, so your primary is always out. So when I jumped out, I always assume because I always have the repair tool out. So I, that's why I wind up shooting bullets. But um, again, when you're in this thing, I have the repair tool out now as a primary. So when I get out of this, I will have it. Which I think I do at Bravo. I think we go to Bravo and I jump out and fix it a little bit. Um, so then I'm not shooting bullets at the thing. I'm just... I'm repairing right away. So, anyway. Spot for mines. There is no proximity and there is no thermal on this. Um, you only have zoom. There are no other gunner seats in these things as well either, which is sort of disappointing, but maybe that would make it too overpowered. Right here, I think we hit a mine on that ramp going down. Um, so that, that caused some damage. So it looks clear, we're taking the flag, there you go, repair tools out, start fixing. Kind of move from side to side. I'm on the left side, the warehouse side of this Amtrak because I think it's safer. So just get to the side that's safe and uh, fix it and get back, get your butt back in there. So there's a zoom on that tank and I'm not aiming high enough to get it. I was hoping it looked like it was going to drop down and it did, but I, I still wasn't aiming high enough because these these grenades will definitely definitely come up short. Tank here, some infantry to the right. I was worried about some mines in front of us. I didn't know if those were mines or not. Now you get the Vodnik, so it's either get the easy kill on the Vodnik and get rid of it, or work on the tank. I probably should have chosen the tank. I went after the Vodnik. But, um, good driving by Wackack. I appreciate it. I know it's a little extra long, extended bonus footage there, but, um, I wanted to put some game, some, uh, Amtrak work up. And, uh, remember, switch, switch both your guns with the other teams talking and spotting. You'll definitely take advantage of this thing, and you will you will clean house. And the mobile spawn point is just wonderful. Um, and remember, the other team can't take it. So if you leave it out for them, they can't take it. All they can do is C4. It. So if someone with C4 sees that some of the people are spawning in the vehicle, and you're spotting it, and it lights up, you know, one of six, two of six, or something like that, then you can set it off and get a kill. But other than that, you can't touch it. Anyway, here's a little picture from my business trip, as painful as it was. Uh, this is the, the beaches to the right, the hotels to the right here, but facing, this is still St. Kitts, but facing in that direction is Nevis, past those hills, or mountains, whatever you want to call them. Anyway, I appreciate your time, thanks for watching, and remember, keep your stick on the ice.